Similarly, questions of history, even a question like what happened in the Battle of Hunain with the prisoners of war, profoundly complex questions that are not open to simplistic black and white responses. The fact that every average Muslim grows up thinking that they can pose easy questions about the Sira and receive easy answers about the Sira or about anything in Islamic history or about anything in Islamic law is exactly the fingerprint of a colonized tradition. So these people, I mean, I, I dealt with part of this in the khutbah, but, but it is so critical because it is one of the core messages that I want to leave before leaving this world, because I see it as a monumental intellectual issue that the, the, the questions we ask, we have become conditioned through colonialism, through Islamophobia, through power dynamics, to think that we're being critical, question, uh, critical thinkers. We're being deep thinkers. When we say something like, what happened in the Battle of Hunayn? But the way we ask the question and the way we expect the response, black or white, in a dichotomous fashion, is actually evidence of anything but critical or analytical thinking. It, what we are, the, 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 the theater of it is that we are being dumb, asking dumb questions, receiving dumb answers, and the entire dynamic of Islamicity becomes a dumb, dumb, thoroughly anti-intellectual dynamic. Core part of being a Muslim is having a sense of awe and humility as how grand and enormous and nuanced the tradition to which you belong is. That you have a sense of deep reverence about, I belong to a tradition in which any question I ask about Islamic law and any question I ask about Islamic history will require years and years and years of study. And having the humility of saying, and it should be. It's not, you don't feel cheated by that. In fact, you feel vindicated by that. But this is so far, I mean, you find this all the time among Jewish students of Jewish history or Jewish law. You find this all the time among serious students of Christian history. Canon law, people don't even ask questions about canon law anymore. I mean, it, it, except for a very small select group. But I've even found it among Hindu students or Buddhist students, the, the, the intuitive awareness that if I make a generalization about my own tradition, all I'm doing is I'm proving how ignorant I am. It is completely absent in the Islamic context. That, that awareness that if I generalize about the Sira, or if I just shoot off my mouth about what happened to the prisoners of war in the Battle of Hunayn, which, you know, we can, we can talk about, it will take us about six hours to just 
ask the relevant questions, review the relevant sources of information, and develop some type of methodology for this course before we can start having a serious conversation just about that one simple issue. Um, SubhanAllah, this is precisely where something like Al-Hikam al ataiya al comes in. Because if we raised our children with the awareness that if you want to ask questions about history, then do, the home, do your homework and understand that asking the intelligent, relevant question is in fact a truly challenging dynamic. Same thing about history or law. 